Hello everyone, welcome to InventBox, and today I'm going to be talking to you about analog to digital conversion and how that's done in MicroPython, you know, why it's why it's uh, useful. So analog to digital conversion or analog to digital converters, usually abbreviated, almost always abbreviated, uh, ADC. And it's an analog to digital converter is a circuit that is able to sample a voltage and convert it into a digital number, you know, something that a computer program can store and use in a, in a variable. So I want to talk for a second about the difference between analog and digital. And I always like the analogy of clocks. So an analog clock has continuous motion and it's smooth, but a digital clock advances in steps or increments. And you'll, you know, that's kind of the same concept in electronics. A digital signal is like on and off and on and off, it is in steps, and an analog signal is continuous and smooth like like music uh, it's just there's no it could you know you can theoretically hit any note or or you know any any frequency uh, I guess the same thing goes for voltage when you're talking about measuring a voltage there's an infinite there actually there's an infinite number of you know possible voltages if you were to just if you if you were to pick up a random sensor like a light sensor or something and measure the voltage you have no idea what it's there's an infinite number of possible voltages because it's a continuous scale uh, if that makes any sense it uh, Length and measurements are another example of you know, something that's that's just inherently continuous and analog, I guess. So um, you can see I, I actually have some circuitry hooked up here. I don't want to overcomplicate uh, anything that's going on here. This is a light-dependent resistor, so it's got you know a few kilo ohms of resistance in the dark, and then when you shine a light on it, the resistance begins to drop, or it allows more current to flow, and it is continuous. So as you increase the light striking the little wavy line there, the resistance will gradually decrease. So it's continuous. It doesn't drop in steps. And I just created a little voltage divider out of it. So I have a 10k ohm resistor. Oh yeah, from this orange wire there's a 10k ohm resistor going to ground and there's the LDR, the light dependent resistor, going to 3.3 volts. And so as the light as more light strikes this, uh, you'll see that the voltage increases. More light means more voltage. So we can see what happens if we try to measure this using a digital pin like we used to detect if the button was pressed or not. I mean, you can probably, hopefully, imagine what's, what's going to happen, but uh, we'll, we'll play with it anyway. This should be old news by this point. And all right, so it's sitting at a one, logic one right now. And if I cover the sensor with my finger, it should decrease the voltage and bring it towards a logic low. And it does. And it's back to a logic high. So this is kind of a light sensor. Uh, you know, you might be able to use this in a night light something that switches on or off all at once 
but it wouldn't be useful in detecting you know like what time of day it is or how bright it is outside it it's only a one zero digital and that's just a limitation of the fact that we're using a digital pin so let's um we'll put it on to move it on to another pin see see not all the pins have the analog to digital converter circuit attached to it only pins 32 through 39 on the Sparkfun ESP32 thing. Let me write that down. That's pins uh, 32 through 39 on the ESP32. The ESP8266, I believe. Um, it does have an ADC, but only one. And it's on pin 0, GPIO 0. Alright, but we're going to pin 32. And other boards like the Pi board or micro bit uh, I'm sure they've got yeah they've got ADCs too probably not on pin 32 or maybe on pin 32 I don't know that they, they could be on you know they'll have their own ADCs it's a very hardware dependent thing so if you're going to build a circuit and you need like six ADCs you probably better check to make sure the board you're buying has that because uh, it's not something you can't replicate it in software you, you know, if you don't have enough ADCs, you, you're pretty much out of luck. But we're just using one in this example to measure the light sensor. Alright, so we just need to import the ADC class from machine. And we can create an instance just by providing it with a pin number, pin 32. And that's pretty much it. All right, so now we have to talk about how ADCs uh, how they work. Um, so the ADC is actually inside of it. There's a there's a counter, and whenever you want to measure a voltage, you set the counter to zero, and then you start it counting upward, and it will. With, with each tick it will slightly increase a internal voltage and it will compare it with the voltage present on your pin so at first it might say alright I'm setting my internal voltage to 0 0.01 volts is that is that equal to the voltage present on this pin no obviously it's a lot less so then it will increase increase the count again to 2 and then it'll say is 0 0.02 equal to our mystery voltage no and then it'll increase 0 0.03 and it'll repeat this process until at some point uh, the, the count at some point the internal uh, voltage will equal the mystery voltage and it stops counting and then it will tell you how many counts it had to do before it reached the mystery voltage and so and it, that's actually all the ADC does so it doesn't really tell you what the voltage on the pin is but as long as you know it, it just tells you how many counts okay but as long as you know how much voltage it added for each count you can calculate what the voltage is. The other thing you have to know is what is the um, maximum, what I would call the, what the reference voltage of the ADC. And the, so the ADC will not just count indefinitely up and up and up and up and up. I mean, obviously, it's limited by the supply voltage. It can only, the maximum the ADC can measure is 3.3 volts because that's what is present throughout the whole system. But um, this chip being as complicated as it is, you know, as much going on as it is, they actually have the ability to set the reference voltage on the ADC lower so that it will only count up to some smaller amount. In this case, that's one volt. So like right now, as the ADC is running, the counter 
starts at zero and then climbs up to one volt and then it goes back to zero and climbs up to one volt now oops um, that's a trouble for us because we happen to know that the light sensor or this voltage here is varying between you know something less than you know something close to zero volts and something closer to 3.3 volts because we saw that when we let our finger off the sensor it read a logic high uh, and on a 3.3 volt board logic high has to be you know at least greater than half of 3.3 which is certainly greater than one volt so that's going to be a problem for us um, we, we have to do is tell the ADC to count up to all the way up to 3.3 like that's your reference voltage is 3.3 um, it's not super intuitive it's you have to change the attenuation of the ADC and it's like this right now we are at adc.attm underscore 0 dB that's 0 dB uh, DB the DB scale it's like a logarithmic scale whatever it doesn't really matter we want 11 DB and that will tell the processor uh, to use 3.3 volts as the reference voltage not 1 volt the other thing is uh, we have to know how many counts the the ADC will do uh, for each measurement and that number is 4096 this is also the precision of the ADC so it's gonna start at zero and it's gonna count its way up to 3.3 volts and it's gonna do that in 4096 steps alright that means that each step is worth how much 3.3 volts divided by 4096 is 0.8 millivolts or 805 microvolts so it's a tiny little step you know it's, it's actually fairly um, precise ADC let's let's check it out real quick so if I do an ADC dot read it will give us 2802 that means that it counted 2802 steps before the voltages were equal and if we multiply that by our point zero zero uh, eight oh five, which is the voltage increase per step, we'll get two point two, about two point two ish volts. And let's uh, cover the sensor with our finger a little bit and re read that number again. See it dropped. I'll push on the sensor. It's dropped again and cover up the sensor even more dropped way down I can aim at the light um, and it's back up so yeah I mean see that's um hopefully that made sense with all the ADC stuff it's definitely a little bit more going on there the actual commands that you use are not that difficult you just read it and you have to yeah you have to choose the uh, 11 DB that's kind of weird um, wish that they set the default to 3.3 but um, that's what we got to do just one command and the amount of stuff you can do with ADCs it's I ADCs are one of my favorite uh, electrical systems so um, I'm going to cut this one here and you can play with your ADCs and your sensors so thank you for watching I'll see you next time